Hello, friends. How are you? You look beautiful today. Thank you. I'm um, practicing for Joshua's wedding. I'm practicing um, looking beautiful. I look uh, olive color. Well, your skin is more olive than mine, dear. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's always been that You're way. pretty white. I'm pretty darn white. That's yes. true. I'm Sometimes like I can see your organs. Casper the ghost. Yeah. I'm a friendly ghost. You, uh, you, Just you like are Casper. You are to those uh, you yes, love. That's true. Um, now we have a uh, a movie review to do. That's true. And uh, it's a Wednesday. We have finally watched it. Now, mm-hmm. this has been on our list for a long time. Mm-hmm. We have a ton of movies on yes. our list. It's it is not an exaggeration to say we have thousands of movies that we need to watch. That's true. That's not an exaggeration. When two hundred of them are Big B alone. I mean, you've got a lot of movies to we watch. We need Metatron to come over and just touch our foreheads and, just and download put right in our heads. all of right. the Indian films right. in our head. So we we have not watched a Wednesday yet, though everybody had been uh, clamoring for us to do it. And so a couple of days ago, we decided, let's watch it. Yeah, it was. it's on uh, Netflix, and it's yes. also on the app that I like to use. Yes, but What's we the saw app an, called? I think it's called Einthusen. Yeah, it's a good app. Um, in any case, it was on Netflix, and so we watched it, and it was the perfect timing to watch that movie. Yes, uh, absolutely, absolutely. All of our Indian friends know what it's about, yes. so we don't even have to get into what the movie yes, is about. Yes. Um, but considering what's going on since February 14th in India, where India is fighting back again against the threat from the neighbors mm. to the west mm-hmm. it was perfect timing for us to watch this film it is. so you had anupam Kerr mm. and Nasiruddin shah and i people say i look like him uh, stop it St- go to your room um he's older than you so clearly he looks older than you, you. a little mustache, mustache um i think what they're getting at is, is that you bald guys head? bald yes you both have bald heads mm. um so Anupam Kerr, Nasiruddin Shah, <laughs> and uh, Jimmy Shergill. And we have seen uh, Jimmy and Anupam together before in Special 26. Yes, yes. Which was an awesome movie. We loved um, that. And I've, I've seen Jimmy in uh, My Name is Khan. Yes, right. He was SRK. Uh, Dar at the Mall, which is the worst movie ever. I've not seen that. Um, so obviously Terrible. this was made before Special 26. Um, and so... You noticed that Jimmy Shergill's acting skills in this film were not as good as they were in Special 26. Well, it could be just because of who he was playing or what they, or the type of role he was playing. It's possible. I'm just saying that because he's had more experience now, his character, his acting skills in Special 26 were better, I mm, thought. Okay. Um, so in any case, the movie starts off with Anupam kind of sitting there... Uh, musing about because he's retiring yes, yes. and he's musing about kind of the most intriguing case that he worked that was never officially that was a never case. and it well it turns out it was never officially a case yes. um and so it was technically unsolved yes, in that yes. regard um, but, you, but well, never you can't really actually say filed. because it really never was right. a case right so um so then it which it, is a very interesting concept to kind of begin the film with right so we start off with then what turns into the rest of the film basically yeah, being a re- flashback re- yeah yes. um so you see Nasiruddin Shah come into the police station and uh he wants to file a report um because you know he's lost his wallet or somebody's stolen his wallet and it's pretty obvious um, from the get-go that something is um, afoot because mm-hmm. he's carrying a bag. And um, so he looks rather conspicuous with this big bag that has writing on the front of it that people would remember. Like, mm-hmm. oh, hey, I remember this guy came in here and there was this bag and it's got big writing all over it. <clears throat> and it said J and K on the bag, so... Probably you would think about that. And, and you think that's actually tied <clears throat> to a location. Well, it made me think of a location. Yes, yes. The bag itself was actually for some sort of brand. That yes. was what was on the bag or some sort of um, store. But obviously when I saw j and K, I I was like, hmm, What'd okay, uh, Jammu and Kashmir. That's yeah, exactly that's what, what it made me think too. of. So, um, so in any case, he files his report. But he gives a phony name, a phony mm-hmm. address, mm-hmm. you know, phony phone number. And it's obvious that he's giving phony information. Mm-hmm. And then he goes into the bathroom and he tucks his bag there. Uh, yes. And so we know, okay, 
But we think he's a bad guy. Yeah, we think he's we a, think bad he's a bad, guy. bad guy. We think he's a bad guy. Um, and, you know, for good reason, because it sounds like in real life he's not exactly the most patriotic Indian in real life. Yeah, yeah, he's he's had a little bit of uh, foot and mouth disease, yes. which is unfortunate. Yes, yes, he has. But it really kind of, um, up to this point in the film, I kind of felt like, okay, he he's he's part of some kind of network, maybe. Right, exactly. And this is going to be a, a it, it's obviously a bomb. Right. And he's going to be doing something. Uh, right. You know, how far does this plot right. go? Right, exactly. You know, who, who is he, is is he affiliated with because he starts right. he starts setting up this really high tech uh, way of communicating with the police that right. they can't trace him. Right, back. he's up and on he's, the roof. He's, he's got a laptop. He's got all these different SIM cards and or burners and all this stuff. So they right. can't really figure out. Right. They're, and going a to fo- they're going to fo- fake phone lines. Right. right, and he starts to ask for uh, militants. You right. know, um, to be released from prison. He wants a particular um, person in the police department mm-hmm. to work on this. Mm-hmm. He wants a particular newswoman to be taping all of this. Mm-hmm. And then he asks for four specific terrorists. Mm-hmm. He wants them released. And um, so Anupam is on the case here. Yes, yes. And they're trying to figure out how they can bring this to resolution in the best possible way because they've been threatened with, if you don't do this, a series of I'm bombs. gonna detonate these bombs. There's a series of them. Right, and so basically you've got, you know, to like 5 p.m. Yes. And so the bulk of the movie uh, is kind of getting everything in place, uh, getting these terrorists uh, released and put in the same place. And they're and, on a bus with Jimmy Shergill and his partner and they're going to this airstrip where they're supposed to be picked up. And so you see this cat and mouse kind of, uh, right. you know, right. unfold uh, between the two characters. Right. And, and Jimmy Shergill is a hothead. Yes, he's a hothead. He is a loose cannon who wants to do things his own way. And so they follow all of the instructions, mm-hmm. but then he keeps the ringleader of the terrorists. He's mm-hmm. like, no, I'm not mm-hmm. going to let him mm-hmm. go. Because at this point... Yeah, because, because basically what we were working to was a, a release of these characters. Right. And they're being right. released. Um, and, and you're right, Jimmy grabs the one right. guy the and kind of guy. pulls him with him. Right, because he's going to mete out some some executive justice. Yes, yes. Okay? And... and uh, where they're at at the at the drop off location, you start hearing a phone ringing. Right, and it's Nasseruddin Shaw, the yes. common man. Yes, yes. Making a phone call to yes. one of the terrorists, and so they're all looking, and they look underneath the table, and there's a phone tucked in there, but it's hooked up to some RDX. Yes, and uh, so we a have, lot of RDX. Yes, and so we have uh, we have the terrorists except one killed in this explosion. And it, thus begins the, the twist of the yes, century the that M. M. Night Shyamalan, Shyamalan could Sham, learn from. Shyamalama, bing bong. He always tries to make a twist in his yeah, films. Yeah, go watch he this thing. He should watch this. Because this, this yes. whole time, this is how you this do whole a time you're thinking, that okay. That Mr. Dean Shaw's a bad guy. Because I'm watching this, and it was only, what, an hour and a half long? It was less than two hours long. That it was like, okay, so we only got 10 minutes left. And there's the 20 minutes left. What's going on? And the terrorists are released. How are we wrapping this up in 20 right. minutes, dude? Oh, it turns and, out and he's like, not a bad oh, guy. Oh, he's not at all. He's the common man. And yes. what is he upset with? Yes. He's upset with the these people. The justice system. They always get away with it. They're sitting around. They're languishing in jail for yes. years and years and years. Yes. And meanwhile, where is justice? Yes. And he's like, there's a man that I see every day on the train. Oh, he does great. Go ahead. And so he's telling this story uh-huh. about how you go on the train every day and you get to meet your I neighbors, basically. You don't well, know we, them, we but you know them. And you talk about things mm-hmm. and you're exchanging little bits and pieces about your life. And he's getting ready to get married. But Nasseruddin Shaw doesn't get on the train the next day. And it's a good thing for him because there's an attack. Yes. And so this young man who had his whole life ahead of him, he's gone. Mm. And so the common man is upset with this sort of thing. And so this is his way to get justice. Now, by this point, when he's telling his story, the hacker who had been helping Anupam, he knew where Nasseruddin Shaw was now. But now everybody there is on the common man's side yes, and they don't want yes, to give him right, up. Because they hired a hacker. Right. Tra- so they could trace the because calls. Because they couldn't figure out what was going. Right. And he hit, he knew, yeah. but he wasn't saying he anything. He wasn't going to oh, I don't because know where he is. Because you started seeing everybody who was involved in the investigation saying, this oh, dude's got, got a, point, a point, and I don't think so. And right. we, then we see uh, 
It turns out there aren't any other bombs. No. There no, were no there other were no bombs. bombs. Nothing else was going to go off. He just knew that if he called their bluff, that he would win. And so then you see Anupam get his mm. uh, his location, mm-hmm. and he's driving mm-hmm. to the location. And so Nasiruddin Shah has thrown everything basically in a burn bin. And um, this was like the one. I hope he got the raisins and almonds that his wife kept calling tomatoes. about. Tomatoes. And she also wanted tomatoes, tomatoes, remember? Um, He's going to be more trouble him, with the wife than yeah, he is with the police. she was telling him about the, the raisins and the almonds and whatnot. And so he's going down the stairs and he realizes, oh, no, I forgot the grocery bag. <laughs> he runs back up the stairs. He grabs the grocery bag. We see the explosion in the burn bin. That was the one bad part yeah, of the film. Like, it just on. went. It was just like this mm. tiny little explosion, mm. so they could have done that better. Yeah, um, so then he's rushing down the stairs, and here comes Anupam. And Anupam's looking at him because he knows this is the guy. This has got to be the guy. And you think, is he going to arrest him? And I'm like, no, he's got to let him go. He can't arrest him, right, because the case was never filed. So all Anupam wants to do, he offers him a ride, and mm. he's like, oh, no, no, that's okay. All he wants to do is actually just look the common man in the eye. So he can, so he can say, I know who you yes, are. Yes, I know who you are. You know yeah, I, know I know who you are. You know that I know that you know that I know. And you know that I'm okay with what you just did. I just needed to be able to look you in the eye and size you up. And now we can, you know, go our separate ways. We got this. I understand you. You understand me. They go their separate ways. And that's how it ended. Wow. That was um, so good. And it was wild. so timely. Because of everything that's going on in India right now, because you know that the mm. common man in India is, is pushing like, this. come on, we need yes, to take yes. care of this issue. Yes. And, so, uh, yeah. and, and Modi said Surgical Strike 2.0 is just a demo. Full album is coming. That is awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. And, and, and you can see the common man views on this yes. in our comments over Absolutely. what's going on just yes. pouring on and on and on and, and on and we on. are with you and i know a lot of um our indian friends wonder what what does the average american think about this and there's basically three camps if you are a conservative like us mm-hmm. you're backing india all the way yes. because you understand what india has been up against and you want them to prevail if you are a liberal you will make excuses upon excuses mm-hmm. for any kind of terrorist behavior because they're afraid of them. Mm-hmm. And then there's a camp of Americans who just don't pay any attention. They don't know. They they're don't know what's going they on. They, they're you. not informed because they're not watching any kind of news ever. Or if so, they're watching news, it's it's very watered down kind of entertainment news, and it's right, not really right. So they're not they're not getting the crux of the information. And and I so. and I think for you, our friends and viewers, um, you know, when you start searching this stuff out, uh, you, you need to go watch people who know something about yeah, it. Yeah, right. Because there, I, you know, I was watching a bunch of YouTubers. Uh, not many are talking about this type of stuff on mm-hmm. there because uh, people get mad. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, people, <laughs> we lose a lot of subscribers because yeah. our views are that of the common man, that right. there's a right and wrong yeah. and you're going to hold to it. And yeah. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you have a house in Lahore. I don't care Right. that, that, that there are things that are more important in life. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know life itself yeah, than exactly. some kind of political cause. Yeah. And I thought this movie was uh, perfect for us at the timing that time, we watched yeah, it me to too. see it, to understand. Yeah. Because it lined up perfectly with the go read the comments in our videos. Yeah, I was it's glad just we like, watched it when we did. Bum, bum, yeah. bum, bum, bum. One after another after another. A lot of our Indian friends um, will ask, you know, uh, why isn't this being covered more in American media? And I will tell you the reason for that is because. Um, the American media is careful about when they will get into this story. Things like this have been going on with your neighbors to the West so often that the media here takes a wait and see approach. Is Mm -hmm. this just another of their typical skirmishes Mm -hmm. or is this going to evolve into something bigger? And so um, yesterday I had Fox News on and they were actually talking about it um, because now it's appearing that it is something bigger. And so um, the media over here will pick up on it more. But just like you have liberal media in India, we have liberal media here too. So Fox News is going to be a good one. But if you're hoping to get um, an honest assessment from CNN or MSNBC, the New York Times, 
That's not going to happen. Yeah. They don't give an honest assessment about conservatives in America. Little They're longer. not going to give an honest assessment about conservatives in India. That's just the fact. So they don't view it as they're being um, biased against you. They're biased against us, too. So don't take it personal. Yeah, um, very good film. Uh, a couple comments that I saw was, is this going to be a top 100? Uh, yes. Yes. This is a top 100 film. In spite of the production, the production right. the production wasn't great, but this is right. this is more important. It was yes. a great story. Exactly. This twi- did you see the twist coming? I didn't see the twist. Did coming. not. It, we were this, both like yeah. we paused it and we, we were paused, like we paused it like Whoa. M Night Shyamalan needs Shabba to take Lama, ding a dong. Um, and sometimes production that's lacking in a film, you can get beyond it with a good story. Case in point, the American movie Act of Valor. Do you remember that? It was yes, a, yes. Navy terrible Seals. production quality. The Navy SEALs. Terrible. True story. But true story with a lot of real, real Navy, life Navy, Navy SEALs, Seals yes, in it. Yes. So while the production quality was Act awful, it was a there. great movie because of the story. Um, so that's how a Wednesday was. The production quality was not good. Um, but wow, what a story. Very good. Uh, so very good. And um, and I've been in contact with a Indian film uh maker okay and usually when somebody tells me that and they send me their youtube they're just starting okay this guy is twice as big as we are nice and um he is the one who has done the wall intro with a creepy wall <laughs> you know right it is so and, weird um, and and i say that because I, I i i think we're going to try to figure out how to do some kind of short film i'm very oh, inspired nice. by a wednesday it was good. Um, I enjoyed a, it. A, let's give a good story. Let's yes. let's do something. Um, I've been in touch with a well. He reached out to me, a film rep, um, who sells your project to like Netflix or whatnot. Oh, okay. And uh, man, we gotta come up with something good. What is your final grade? A. A solid A, you know, this production is, is instance, who cares, dude? This is I was just gonna say dude. this is an instance where I would typically give a film like this. A B because of the production quality. Was, who cares? But the story the was, was so good blowing. that it overrode yes. the production quality. So A, I agree. Hey, and just real quick. A for A Wednesday. Hey, uh, I just want to say hello to our stupid reactions. What's up? Okay. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.